Trekking poles are handy, not only for their help navigating in difficult terrain or relieving the strain put on your back, but to also help you set up your shelter for the night. Let's take a look at three different methods to set up your tarp using trekking poles. The clove hitch, the upside down, and the cross method. The first method obviously involves using a clove hitch. First, attach the guy line to the tarp. I normally use a bowline hitch, but there are several options for you to try. Next, clove hitch the guy line onto the handle of the trekking poles. Form two loops the same way and cross the first loop over the second. Slip it over the pole and tighten. From there, I normally stake it out using a trucker's hitch, but again, there are numerous options such as various friction hitches, regular hitches, or hardware. The second method is just as simple, but upside down. Start out by tying a non-slip loop knot such as a bowline hitch or a figure of eight loop onto one end of your guy line. Turn your trekking pole upside down and slip the loop over the tip of the pole and insert the tip of the pole into the tarp's grommet. Connect the line around the stake and feed it back up to the loop. Add tension and tie it off with two half hitches. Alternatively, you can tie a loop onto your tarp and proceed in the same manner. The third and final method is the cross pull method. This will give you more room to enter and exit an A-frame or tent-like structure. Again, start out by tying a guy line to the tarp. Next, holding your poles parallel, slip one of the pole straps over the handle of the other, and repeat this process with the other pole. Cross the shafts of the poles and you will create an upside down V. From here, take the guy line and loop it at least once around the handles and choose one of the many options you have to add tension to the line and to secure your structure into place. Hey folks, that's all for another one. I hope you enjoyed it, and if so, please hit that like and subscribe button. You can also follow me on social media. Now, as I'm approaching my first thousand subscribers, I just want to thank you all for all your comments and support. You are who I'm doing this for, so thank you very much. And keep an eye out for my new series on poncho tarp shelters. Until then, I hope to see you on the trail.